Hey YouTube, uh, as promised, here is going to be the uh, uh, candle bar changing. Most of it uh, is, all, almost all of this is done with uh, an Allen wrench set. Four or fives and probably there might be a six along the way, but... I have the advantage of having an air compressor, so, but I don't, I couldn't find a short uh, air one to do this with, so we're going to try to do this with a, a long one. We'll see how it goes. So, so we're going to stick this. doubt this has is uh, my OSHA approved but uh, we'll have to put it back on stick that in the hole and we'll see if we can get this other one off oh uh, this one this one is going to be easy to get off. It's, they don't even need no air. Well, this one says it's 560. Uh, but I don't believe it. And this one is tight, but put this rubber back on the air hose. Now, if you don't have an air hose, you could just uh, put a, uh, somehow I have these in the camera. Sorry about that. Let's just spread that out again. Yeah, you're still kind of looking in the right direction. I forget the to bring out the uh, uh, the stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen some stuff up, and then we'll get to that. it has to be as loose now I'm assuming most of this is Allen wrench it might be a, a screw in there somewhere but I'm gonna assume this is all Allen wrench work I think this is a three. And here it is. So that's loose. We'll just slide these out of the way so we can get into there. Now, the best thing to use for this would be something thin. And, and I don't have nothing right around me. Uh, but we're going to use. Uh, glass cleaner to 
spray this in so that we don't really live any residue and then uh, and you can adjust it to a stream and uh, put some uh, I'm not worried about scratching up the handlebars so because I'm not going to use them again so just twist it off be stubborn if you want to and when I put these back on I have to run into the house and get some hairspray Gonna wear me out just doing this. It's almost off. So, you're gonna have to be careful with this and loosen up stuff as you need to to get it off. Mine's actually looks like it was it's broken. Yeah, the clamp is broken on this one. Uh, but it don't really have to be that tight. Just needs to stay put. And I haven't screwed with it so. Maybe a little glue once it's back together. I'm not going to do it right now. So we'll take this off. Rubber with it. Now we can take this off and this off. Let it hang there loosely. Take off my cell phone gill. Okay, it's gonna be stubborn. So, lay that down on the ground. Now we'll move over to this side. And discover how this is connected on there. Hmm. It really isn't obvious. So, you may not be able to see this so we are looking for a, we got a tiny screw over here it's covering up something but there is no obvious way to remove it so we're gonna take this screw out and hopefully not lose anything
so it's gonna look like it's for that particular and we'll take still take the mist at least of course I knew I was gonna need a, a screwdriver or a 10 maybe I know you can't see this, but it's kind of obvious what you have to do to take this off. And I guess that isn't even a, a uh, it's going to be a, a screwdriver. Off. We're just going to loosen it and move it down for right now and see if we can figure out how this throttle comes off. I am thinking there might be a set screw on the front of it. So, Covered under the, uh, the deal, so to avoid losing something, we'll put that screw back in it. So it was covered by the uh, the uh, brake lever. God, it's magnetized. I'd be all day for trying to get this screw. And you notice that I haven't took the uh, the uh, the handlebars loose because that will just comp how I have to put my regular glasses on so I can see into that hole and see what we're looking for except for I must have set all my glasses uh, looks like maybe a three maybe a two you know, smaller than that The rare occasion that you actually need a small size and I don't think it's gonna be and I'd be wrong it is really tight so now uh, we need to move all this stuff at the same time off this bar because it's all you can unwrap it if you wanted to so and now i believe we'll need a six that's a five It is an aluminum bar, thank God. So you're not really gonna save no weight changing it. Uh, 
See that where that was on there? That's not a good idea to uh, score an aluminum bar. It creates a weak spot. So we're going to put it right back. Like it was. So. You want these clamps, the space on uh, the clamps to be about equal, so. back the way it was on there. So, shifter first. Just slide it on as far, well, we got to slide everything on that kind of at the same time. saying you can put up there just get it wrapped around there I, I might have to yeah I'm gonna have to take it back off because it all has to go on at the same time so where you ultimately set these uh, is you're going to put your uh, grip back on so hang on a second and I'll go get the hay hairspray because I'm going to need it at this point so just hang I'll pause you and then come back oh yeah I'm back explain that to the wife where are you going with my hairspray so we're going to spray it on the inside of the grip, give it a little lubrication, uh, make sure you got it the right way. So pound it all the way on and uh, ultimately it looks like we'll put this back like it's supposed to, you want to leave a little gap. You don't want this real tight. Uh, so it has a, otherwise you'll be fighting the, uh, uh, and I'm not going to, I just want it so it don't move and it doesn't. So now we turn the brake lever back. To where we want it. Oh, okay. we want it right about there. Make sure that is slid as close to the deal. You can get it. Not so much that it's you know push on it really hard, but the point is you want all these close together, and that's tight. <coughs> <coughs> this goes right up against the brick lever. Sorry about the compressor. Should have just shut it off.
know, you have a choice where you put your cell phone deal, but I'll put that on last. So we're gonna take this off so we can get this back on right. So this goes in first. Same thing, a little hairspray. Let's see the other side. Put it down a little bit. Now, the reason I'm going to wait for these Yahoo's to leave. Okay, the reason for the hairspray is hairspray is sticky like most men who've ever touched some woman's hair that has a ton of it on it knows. Um, and so when that hairspray, when the alcohol in the hairspray evaporates, it will make it those grips stick to that handlebar like no business. It was, it's like, uh, I need to put something, or I might have to loosen that up a little bit, because this bar seems to be a little bit smaller uh, in the, uh, for this mount, so we'll slide it out of the way, and put a piece of tape on it. Now, it should be the same size, but who knows why it's not the same size. I, if I knew that, I'd know the secrets of the universe. Um, now the question is, oh, there was some. We'll use uh, electrical tape for this, just because we really don't need much. This is the advantage of somebody else doing it for you on YouTube. Is uh, you get 
to see what you need. We're just going to try a little bit to start. a little bit more. And you might you just be surprised takes to, to get that it's going to take to get that tighten up now we're not going to over tighten this we just don't want it to move so probably a half a piece of tape would have been good now we're going to look down the uh, handlebars at, uh, at where the other one's located and set my brake lever about like the other one. I, short of getting on the bicycle, I, prob I probably will have to get on the bicycle and make sure they're exactly right, but I'm pretty good at eyeballing it. So, uh, and now, what do I do now? Uh, now, let's scoot you over a little bit. I had a problem with this yesterday coming loose. So, we're going to try to figure out what's going on. We're going to take it apart. It should be tight enough that it's like it's missing a washer or something. I don't know. It should indent. And so we're going to take a look at it. Okay, it's Loctited, but evidently the Loctite is uh, wore out, so now Loctite, uh, if I can find it. I just cleaned up my table, but I still can't find nothing over here. There it is. Lactite is some expensive crap now. God. I can remember when you could buy a crap load of it for next to nothing, but the you old know, big, big old jar of it, but now. We are going to use high strength. Mm -hmm. Normally I would tell you not to. But. And it don't take much. Uh, you normally would wait for this to dry, but I, you can, you can do it without waiting for it to dry if you want to. And uh, the goal will be here is we're going to tighten down. Uh, tighten this down to where it should be. Um, and... Uh, 
it won't come won't the it won't rattle loose because that Loctite will Now we need to not move that again until we uh, get the uh, Loctite dries. I could have slid this on before I did this, but we're it's not much trouble to take it completely loose. Now, look at all the room I have now. Before I was stuck where I could put it, and now I have uh, room for days. No longer covering up my button. Um, before I had my phone would cover up the button. And I would have to reach under my phone to get it. Now, one of these was broke, so we're not going to go overboard on tightening these. Uh, as long as your computer doesn't move around, that's all, all it really needs to happen. tighter it needs to be. And you could just put the screw back in it and uh, on this other side that's uh, cracked and smather a bunch of epoxy on the bottom of it and it'll be fine. So, relatively painless, let's turn this a little bit, a little bit more. And it didn't take me that long to do it. Um, Want to make sure everything's tight, that you didn't forget anything. shouldn't have to readjust anything um, since the handlebars uh, are longer you may want to uh, rethink how this is wrapped make sure that it it isn't real tight huh. it's a On this side, it's fine. So, here's where, it, where we started its length. Well, let me put you up here where you, put you, where you can see it. See? This is where we started for length. I'm t a good two inches on each side of there. So they're saying this is a 560 uh, millimeter uh, was made in May of 2020. I got my bike a couple months later. So uh, it's real easy to do. No reason why you can't. You, as you can see, I have room to to mount stuff now. 
This is a 660 millimeter bar um, that uh, hairspray is already dry. And those grips were lock, are going to be locked in better than they were when they were on there. So here's what you're going to need. A quick write down. I used a, a four, a three, a five, and a two millimeter. So the two was for the uh, the uh, mode selector button, the uh, three was for the computer, and, I, and yeah, the computer, and uh, so I think that's about it. I am not going to show you me doing Karen's. I'm going to go ask her if she's going to do a bike ride today. If she's going to do a ride today, I'm going to change it. If she isn't, I'm just going to leave it set until tomorrow. Uh, it'll, it's an exact same thing for the step through. There's no difference. Uh, and that's how it's done. You guys have a great day. Please subscribe and like the video.